Aloha. Here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Wednesday, April 1st. Our number of total confirmed cases remains at 12, with no new cases reported since Sunday's update. Of those 12 cases, seven individuals have either recovered or returned to their home on the mainland. The remaining five active cases are residents, four remain in home isolation, and one of those cases is now in isolation in, in the hospital. Koi's tally of cases and other information on COVID-19 can be found on the Koi Emergency Management Agency or Kima site at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. To view the total number of positive cases across the state, please visit hawaiicovid19.com. The daily count on this site is updated at noon every day. Today, the governor's order of a 14-day mandatory quarantine is now in effect, which requires all incoming passengers, including inner island travelers. For residents, this means you must shelter in your home and cannot leave your property. For visitors, this means you must stay in your hotel room or private lanai. You cannot roam the hotel property or visit the gym, pool, or other outside spaces. Any food or supplies that a person needs while in quarantine must be delivered. There are allowances in the governor's order for persons traveling to perform essential functions or for those traveling for medical care. For those travelers, they will be allowed to travel home within the quarantine period but will be required to wear protective gear such as masks. Additionally, all who travel inner island will be required to complete an inter island declaration form. It will include name, residential address, contact number, and destination information. Travelers must also declare the purpose of their travel. To view a copy of the declaration form, please visit governor.hawaii.gov forward slash newsroom. The incoming traveler quarantine is in addition to all of the mayor's emergency rules which remain in effect, including the nightly curfew and the stay-at-home order. To visit the emergency rules, please visit www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. While we realize we have a lot going on right now, I'm glad to announce that today, April 1st, is Census Day. Today is the day that we are responsible for recognizing and counting every single person li living in every home around Kauai, around Hawaii, and around the entire United States. Today is a day that we exercise our right to be fairly represented by a government to which we all pay taxes, a government who is also responsible for allocating our tax dollars towards essential public services, programs, and infrastructure that we all use every day of our lives. Today is the day that we count ourselves for the sake of ensuring that our island receives its fair share of available federal funding. Since nearly everyone is at home right now, it should be easy for every Kauai household to complete and submit your 10 question census survey today. Today is the day that counts. So I'm humbly asking all of you watching to make sure that you your ohana and all your friends, neighbors, and co-workers are counted in the 2020 census. You can fill out the census paper form that you received in the mail. If you did not receive a form in the mail, please complete your survey online or by phone. Please visit hawaiicounts.org for more information. Also today, I signed an emergency proclamation as a result of the rain and flood event that occurred overnight on Friday, March 27th, which caused extensive damage to both private properties and public infrastructure. For those individuals and businesses that experienced property damage as a result of last weekend's storm and flood event, please report that damage online by going to our Kima website at www.koi.gov forward slash chemo and click on the button that says March 2020 flood damage report. If you do not have online access or need further assistance, please call Kima at 241-1800. We will release more details on assistance programs as that information becomes available. As a reminder, 
the Department of Education continues to offer free meals to children 18 years or younger, Monday through Fridays. Breakfast is served from 7.30 to 8 a.m. and lunch is served from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Chiefest Kamakahele Middle, Kapa High School, Waimea High School, and also free meals will be available at Kikaha Elementary School starting on Monday, April 6. Again, it's important that we continue to protect ourselves and others. The best way to do that is act as though you are carrying COVID-19, act as though others you encounter throughout your day are carriers of COVID-19, and then act accordingly to keep it from spreading to others. That means staying home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, keep a distance of six feet of separation. Do not leave home if you're sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. We're going to get through this Kauai, stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Center for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly with detailed guidance related to COVID-19. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. And last but not least, I want to wish somebody very spe special to all of us here, but especially to me, my executive secretary, Stephanie Iwasaki. Happy birthday, Steph. We really miss you. Thank you for all of your hard work. And we just wanted to let you know that everyone here loves you. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for being our support system. We can do this, Kauai. Take care of one another. God bless and aloha.